think the, uh, the Supreme Court is uh, uh, criticized for judgments of excessive uh, length. But uh, the Dixon format, uh, which is, you know, the, the uh, here are the issues, here's the relevant provisions, uh, here are the arguments, and so on, goes on and on and on. Uh, I uh, did not like very much as a practitioner, uh, but uh, it's because it's misunderstood. The, what, the idea is you don't have to read all the stuff. You know in the Dixon format where you're going to find what you need to know. So they, you know, they'll go through all the palaver, uh, you know, what the trial judge thought, what the court of appeal thought, what the lawyer said, and so on. You know, what's the law in Australia? What's the law in the United Kingdom? What does the European Union say? And then about 50 pages in, there'll be the law in Canada. So at that point, you slow down. You haven't actually got to the point, but you're, you're getting into the penumbra. Uh, and then they'll talk about the Canadian cases if there's a disagreement with the, the Court of Appeal. And then application to the facts. And that's the point at which you say, right, that, those three or four pages is what, is what you need to, to learn. I find it difficult. For example, the, 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 the decisions of the House of Lords, or the Supreme Court of the UK, they go on for pages and you've no idea where to find anything because everybody has an idiosyncratic style. You know, and I think the Supreme Court uh, writing is, is, is good, uh, the Dixon format. I think what it does is cut out a lot of the junk that's thrown in. Uh, you know, some of the judges for a while, it's less common now, but would put in huge amounts of social context evidence you know, Professor So-and-so from Vanderbilt wrote this, and Professor So-and-so from, uh, you know, the University of Saskatoon wrote that. And it goes on and on and on and on. And it kind of, it's like reading something into the record, parliamentary record. You know, it's there for the ages, but it doesn't really contribute very much to anything. And the Dixon format enables you to skate right around it to get what you want. The other thing is, I think, when you're dealing with the dispositive part, I like writing it like a factum. You know, bang, 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 bang. It's got to be more neutral than a factum, but it's got to be more balanced. But it's that kind of punchiness uh, that I think uh, makes it understandable to people.